Hello everybody, happy Friday. Today's Friday the 13th, Friday, January 13th. Um, happy new vlog day. I could have started vlogging yesterday, but I didn't. And I have a story to tell you about why. The past two days have just been a lot. So I'm looking forward to this weekend and going back to normal. So to be fair, this week was normal up until Wednesday. So I had a normal work week, a normal whatever. And I get home from work now at like seven. I get home really late. It sucks. I have like an hour to like eat and decompress before it's like bedtime routine, you know? I don't know why my lips are this color. I just had breakfast. I also just worked out, so I'm like gross. I also showered, so it's a mess. But anyway, so I come home Wednesday night and Avery is complaining about her neck itching. And I'm like, okay, that's weird. So I like look at her neck and she has this like rash under her hair and it like goes up behind her ears so i go to dr google and i'm like hey what could this possibly be like typing in everything and the first thing that pops up is lice so for like 20 minutes i have my light on my phone and i'm just like combing through her hair and i'm not seeing anything and i'm like okay this is okay and then literally right as i was about to put my phone down and be like okay maybe it's something else i saw a, i think it's pronounced a louse like an actual like live bug like the bug like lice are the nits are the eggs i don't know i've done so much research since then so i saw lice and i was like no this is not happening so immediately i just i just start doing everything so sheets are off the bed her bedding her plushies that are on her bed her pillow everything is off i have actually i need to bring her plushies inside because i put them in a plastic like a garbage bag and they've been sitting outside for the past two days in the sun to suffocate the lice and i washed her sheets i washed her bedding at this point it's like 8 30 9 o'clock we're in the car we're going to walmart we're getting the lice like treatment kit i'm like we're this is not i'm not waiting any longer so um we got home and it was like 10 o'clock at night and I'm like, okay, let me just email your teacher and let her know if you're not coming in tomorrow. I guess you can go to like school slash like work, like do things with lice. I don't know. It's been so long and like obviously I don't know anything, but like you have to be like an active treatment. But because she'd stayed up so late, I was like, I don't know. I don't want to send her to school and her be exhausted. So as soon as we got home, we did the treatment. I'll show it to you guys. Um and it comes with like the treatment the daily shampoo and the comb which oh my god i love the comb so i did the treatment we washed her hair i washed my hair with the, the shampoo i washed reagan and brian's hair with the shampoo we didn't do the treatment because none of us have anything thankfully it's like it's been contained and everything says that you're supposed to use the comb every like two to three days yeah no i'm a crazy person every two to three hours i was combing through her hair so we did that Thursday, Wednesday night, and then all day yesterday, I have been like on top of it. So, we did her comb every two to three hours. We kept her hair in a tight braid because apparently, I think from what I read, like if your hair is up or like in something, like they don't, I don't know, they don't like that. So, we did that. I combed her hair every two to three hours. Last night we did the daily shampoo again and I blue dry her hair and did the braid. And then I have been like rotating what she's been sleeping with, like her blankets and stuff, so I can continuously wash them. But safe to say, she's at school right now. Safe to say, as of, so like by noon today, it'll be 24 hours since I've seen anything. An egg, a live bug, anything i checked her hair this morning like very thoroughly before i took her to school and i haven't seen anything so what i'm i'm thinking okay so from what i read the eggs can take two to three days to hatch so if i missed anything tomorrow will be the day that i should see it so tonight we're still going to do our routine when she gets home from school i'm still going to do the brush i'm still going to do wash her hair with the stuff tonight blue dry it again tonight but we are going to continue using daily shampoo and stuff i think for a week I bought more off Amazon. It should be here tomorrow. And then I also bought like prevention stuff. I'll show all of you guys this when it comes because like I didn't know any of this and I'm like so grateful that I was like on top of it because 
I feel like I did a really good job. Like I'm very proud of myself as long as nothing hatches. So I like kept it very contained and I'm just really grateful it wasn't like an intense outbreak. So like when I was a kid, I had lice, okay? I got it first as not fleas. What was it? Maybe it was fleas. We got like a stray cat and it had fleas, I think. And I had it and then it turned into lice. And I remember my mom combing my hair with that stuff, the brush, and it just being disgusting. But Avery's like is fine. So... I feel like we got ahead of it really quickly, <sighs> thankfully. So, she's at school right now. She's been so good. Like, we don't, like, we, like, kept her, like, separated from Reagan, of course, the one time where, like, you guys can't, like, be next to each other. They're like, I want to play with each other, and I'm like, <sighs> but that's my story time. So, she's at school today. She should be fine today, um, and yeah, I'm just going to get back to work. This is a very work-heavy weekend made wax all day yesterday and i have a bunch to make today so i need to get back downstairs because my reagan has been waiting for me i was up here because it's more more quiet up here so i need to get back downstairs So as you can see, I'm doing some new things. Um, if you hear background noise, it's because Reagan is watching Hocus Pocus, which is her literal favorite movie ever um, for probably about a year and a half now. Loves Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus too, kind of, but Hocus Pocus is like the goat. Anyways, so that's what she's doing. 
I am doing testing. Today is a, a, right now, like what I just did is a testing day. I also have other things I need to do, but it's besides the point. I both love and hate testing days. I love them because if things work out, then I get really excited because then I can do new things. And I hate them because if things don't work out, I feel like it's a waste and I hate myself and I'm angry. So I'm trying those hearts because I really want to be able to do those for the Valentine's Day collection. I think I'm gonna have to make the hearts like a very light color though because the dark dark blue ones I was just using the dark blue because that was what was left for my colors um, They're bleeding out which I don't love but we'll see these are all freebies anyway So like worst case if I hate them the scent is still good y'all can still melt them And then the other one I'm doing I was testing to see if I can do like a marbling effect with the snap bars I was testing two different theories. I accidentally also spilled freaking dye i didn't realize i had already opened it i have dye all over my hands so i accidentally spilled a couple drops on the counters so like as soon as this is done i scrubbed what i could i'm gonna really deep clean that and get that off but it got a little bit on the mold which really bothers me because if that doesn't come out then i have to it, the mold's useless like the mold is useless um it's fine but um I tried it by doing the dye on some already poured white pieces and then I was like oh like halfway through I was like I should just get a toothpick and just toothpick it through so I think that actually might be a better option because I would really like to do some kind of like marbled snap bars in the future so I'm doing that um I'm just we'll see it's a love-hate relationship after this I do have a couple of things to restock which is exciting. Actually, I have four cents I need to restock. I need to restock Coffee Shop, Cereal and Milk, Love Spell, and Zucchini Bread Sugar Cookie Royale. I also need to put all of the labels on the Harry Potter scents. I haven't labeled a single one of those yet. And there's, what, 13? So I'm going to steal Brian's AirPods and I'm going to watch like a really long, long, long video and label all of those because I'm thinking we do orders tonight because I realized today that mail doesn't run on monday because it's a holiday so i want to get them done tonight so he can pick them up tomorrow the post office guy that would make me feel better and i also want to get started on valentine's day sense which might start tomorrow we shall see today is just going to be i need to restock those things so that way i can do orders and then i have to prep orders we currently have let's see 67 open orders which i'm really stoked about this order fill is going to be quite intense because it is harry potter and it's a lot of things but i'm excited this movie is so so loud i'm sorry and yeah so i have to do all that and then start working on valentine's day and then i'm also working on the next collection which i watched the movie for and by the time you see this, you might know, you might not, whatever, it's a sneak peek. We're doing an Alice in Wonderland collection, which I watched the movie a couple of days ago, and I haven't seen that movie since I was a kid. Have y'all watched that movie recently? What's the plot? Because I don't know. I didn't even know what was happening the whole time. I was just like, what are we doing? What is happening? <sighs> but it was a good time. I actually quite enjoyed it. So I have, I think, 12 names written down for potential scents, and then I need to start coming up with scent notes and coming up with um shapes because you guys really seem to enjoy shapes i also just bought a mold from flexiblemolds.com it's the first time i've ever ordered from them they do the wildest molds you guys they have like a sushi like they have pizza they have all sorts of fun crazy molds i just bought a really basic cookie one first of all because it's expensive it's like 24 dollars for a four cavity mold that's like nothing like that's not good so and like if i got a four cavity mold from like amazon i would order multiple so i would always have like a bunch so it's gonna be kind of a pain in the butt but i want to try it out because i feel like cookies can be used for most things so i got that hopefully that comes soon and yeah so wax making day today um hopefully these turn out okay we shall see um but i have to go find brian's airpods in a second because once these are done i'm gonna start on the restocks and then start labeling everything okay so we're gonna test these together like i said i'm pretty nervous about these i know like it's good for me to do these testing days because i'm always trying to grow and expand and do new things with my business that's what you're supposed to do I'm really nervous. So I'm gonna start with the hearts ones. The the backs of these look the worst, but thankfully they're getting broken apart. I'm gonna start with this one because this one I didn't pour all the way. Like look, you can still see the heart. Oh my god, but the front looks so cute. Oh my god. I don't even want to show you. It's so cute. Look at this. 
wait this actually looks whoa, so cute so i learned with these hearts to make them a little bit smaller so i can't fill up to the cat top of the cavity like this one's pretty like thick i mean it doesn't look thick but then there's a few in here that are quite small this this is so cute oh my god i'm gonna cry oh my god i'm gonna cry it's so cute okay a little nostril guys i've been pretty emotional lately um anyway <laughs> let me just pop some of these like stupid ones out they're like this is just like a little piece that's so cute okay okay here let me get some of these extras off this excess wax okay 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 i'm really excited i'm not i'm not gonna cry this blue is so pretty against this pink Oh god, these are so cute. Oh my god, I can't wait to send these out as freebies. See, the dark blue kind of ran a little bit, but like I don't plan on doing any color like that dark. Okay, so this is the other. So these are the ones that have like the like I call them my little Lego blocks. They're not like they just just bear with me. These ones are like the more chocolate kind of bar ones. Let's see? Oh my god, these are so cute. Now I'm trying to decide: do I do one in every one? Or do I do one in like every other? I think for the bars that I actually will sell, I'll do one in every other because that looks very, very cute. But this I thought that would be good for freebies just to like maybe someone, like everyone can get one. These are scented in pink frosted cake. They smell so good. I've never done pink frosted cake before, but I wanted to do it for Valentine's Day. So this is a freebie going out because I like to do my freebies as testers for... The next collection this one looks a little funky but that's okay because we're learning we're learning i kind of want to show these to brian before i pop them apart and put them in little freebie bags these are so cute this one got a little weird they have a gumball machine look at these brian look what i tested look so I did some testing. I also tried marbling, which we haven't looked at yet. But these are really cute, right? I was very nervous. I'm making a mess. Okay, so let's try the marble. The marble ones, I look at this. It spilled. Really? Brent, Accidentally shaved head. He looks like a peanut. <laughs> I've been making the girls call him peanut. Okay, so here's the marble. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about that. So I think my trick with the um, toothpick might be the better option here these are scented in apple pecan pancakes yeah because like look at the top like the top is normal yeah i'll let you smell the pancakes so i'll do the other one that's just the one that i actually like let's see mm, i still like just the bottom looks cool but like the top looks not the greatest let's test this one. Oh god this one's crazy look at this one I mean, it smells good. Let's see. This one's, like, just super white, and then the color, ugh. I don't know. I think I'm going to have to, like, actually work on my marble and, like, perfecting that. But, yeah, because these are just, maybe I just used too light of a color. I used, like, a peach. The hearts, though. Very pleasantly happy with the hearts. So, like, this one's okay. Like, that one looks pretty. But I don't know. I'm just not too happy with this, like, marbling technique. I'm going to have to, like, really work on this one. But otherwise, I'm happy with everything else. It has been so long since I've seen you guys. I went and got Avery, and we did her whole, like, routine. Because I have a feeling she's going to fall asleep early tonight. Because she just normally does. So, came home, washed her hair, did the whole, like, brush it. Washed with the stuff. Brushed it again. Blue dry it. So it was completely dry. And so far I haven't seen anything, like not even an egg. So I'm like crossing my fingers and toes. I still have to show you guys the stuff that we've been using. But like I ordered another one of those daily shampoos. And then I told you the preventative stuff. So um, we're going to daily shampoo her for probably another week. And then I'm going to do the preventative stuff, like our normal routine. And that's going to be what I'm going to buy for them from now on. Because like, mm -mm, never again. So, so far she looks great. And I'm like really happy about that. But I have just been like working and I'm so tired. I put labels on everything. Um, I did the labels on the freebies. I printed the Valentine's Day labels. I just did my to pull list and now I'm currently printing invoices. This this is the marker I'm currently using. I think I'm gonna need another one. What's my next color? Ah! Looks like my next color is this like minty kind of color. Kind of. It's like almost the same color. Because I know that marker is going to die on me. But 
What? You wanna watch what? Bell? Like Beauty and the Beast? No, just like yellow. Oh, come here, I'll put it on you. I wanna be yellow. Yeah, that's Belle. You wanna wear this one? Yeah. Okay. I wanna be a Um, I don't think this is Belle, sweetheart. I think this is Tiana. Look. Tiana? Princess and the Frog. It's green. It's Ooh, sparkly. Look at that one. Do you want to wear Tiana? Yeah, Tiana. Yeah, that's really pretty. I want to watch Tiana. Okay, let's, you want to put it? I can put it on when we're done. We've been watching um, I don't know what it is about Cartoon Network can I say shows. Hoblog? Yeah, you can say hi when you're a princess. We've been like real into Clarence recently. It's on Hulu. It's real fun. I think it's funny. It makes me laugh. If you've never watched any other Cartoon Network shows, Bear Bears, We Bear Bears is also pretty good. All right, there you go, Tiana. Hi. You're beautiful. You want to show them? Here, I'll lift you up. One, two. There's Tiana. Hi, Nini. <laughs> you okay? Look. You're so glittery. And have the bag. Yeah. But that's just what we've been doing. I love you. Mm. Are you a happy girl? Mm. Yeah. Thanks, babe. She does this a lot now when she's mad at you. Do the, do the, this is the, I got my eyes on you. But she touches her nose. Do it. Say, I got my eyes on you. She goes like this and she touches her nose. Like that. No, 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 no. She does the no, 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 too. No, no. <laughs> Go play. I'll be right there, okay? Oh, she's doing it. She's got her eyes on you guys. Get out of here. That's what we've been doing. guys we just printed all of our orders and we spent $571 in shipping Hi. the one downside of making wax and things that weigh a lot is that the shipping is definitely a lot more she's getting sleepy so that definitely sucked but everything is printed I'm going to set up a post office pickup even though we haven't done orders yet because we're doing them tonight and I want them good to go oh, I gotta sell like all the labels it's gonna take me a minute so I'm gonna do all that and then hopefully we eat dinner soon because it is almost 5.30. Are you hungry? Yeah. Yeah. I want red pasta. Red pasta? I can do that. I want and I will see you guys in a moment. <gasps> so, we just finished packing all of those orders. And I'm so tired. Oh, 
but they are all by the front door for the post office guy, like not outside obviously, but for the post office pickup tomorrow. I'm doing it by myself and of course it's like one of the largest pickups ever, so lots of fun. But I'm in the bathroom because I did get an Amazon order that I was gonna show you because I was talking about every stuff all day. I checked her here again, we did the shower and everything today. I haven't seen anything in over 24 hours. So I'm gonna continue to do, monitor her hair, but I'm gonna show you guys what we used. So, we got this at Walmart, but you can get it on Amazon also, but I'll link it below. It's the RID Super Max 5-in-1 Complete Lice Elimination Kit. So it comes with the treatment, which is what we used on her. It comes with a little tiny shampoo and conditioner. I just got the larger one in the mail today. We're gonna continue using this. And it also comes with literally the tried and true, the brush, which I have right here in a, a towel. That stuff I will link down below. And the other stuff says it'll be here tomorrow. That's like prevention though. This is like, I think maybe this is also prevention too. You coming in? I don't know, but this is the stuff. So. We're gonna brush our teeth. Yeah. You wanna say hi? hi. She's in a little, little diaper right now. But. Can I brush my teeth? You can. You wanna say goodnight to the vlog? Goodnight, vlog. So see you tomorrow. We're gonna miss you. It's gonna turn morning. We'll see you when it turns morning. Okay. Hey. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh. Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. I'm currently making coffee right now. Yes, you can come see the vlog. As soon as I start talking, she knows I'm vlogging. But I finally feel like I'm back in like my routine. I worked out this morning, I took a shower. It's not hair wash day, unfortunately, so everything is a little greasy. Can you say hi? Hi. Good morning. I have a best buddy with me today. Avery's um, in her room, she's not asleep, but she's in her room. And I think we're good on her hair situation, so. Mommy, she's playing games. Oh, she's playing games? Yeah. Okay. She's playing well. But yeah, I finally feel like I'm back to myself. There was like a really long time where I wasn't like working out or like even drinking coffee you and I felt that? like, no thank you. I felt like I wasn't just like in my routine and I finally feel like I am. So I'm really happy about that. So it's Saturday morning. I do not know what time the post office guy is gonna come by and I honestly just wanna have everything outside. So I'm thinking he sometimes texts Brian, sometimes he doesn't. So if he doesn't, I'm gonna put everything out at like noon and it's not like cold or anything. It's not hot either, like it's like fine outside. So it's like a good temp, but I'll put everything out then so everything can get picked up. Are you gonna come sit with me? But yeah, so I'm also gonna be making wax today. I need to start the Valentine's Day scents. I'm gonna do one of each of those and then I probably can like start actually working on them, which is really nice. Mama, they just read me. Daddy went to work today. Mm. It's okay. They will read me. And he'll come back. I miss, him. <laughs> I miss him too we'll start our grocery list probably today and then I've decided that every like obviously as I just said Brian's at work every weekend I'm gonna try either a new recipe yes. so I have some new recipes that I want to try I was on TikTok a couple weeks ago like just going through and I saved a bunch so I have like a TikTok recipe that I'm gonna try tonight and hopefully it turns out okay um this camera is dying but I'll get everything situated I just have a little bit of work to do today, nothing too crazy, and I probably should start laundry today. I typically do laundry on Sundays, but because every time we wash Avery's hair, we have to use like the towel, and then she can't use it anymore. Like we can't use that towel anymore; it needs to get washed. I have a bunch of towels that need to go washed, so I'll probably start laundry today as well. So my coffee is done, and when I get started, I have to get ideas for the new Alice scents, which I have like a little idea list going, but I'm gonna go browse through my collection of fragrance oils to see what else I have. And yeah, today's just gonna be a fun kind of wax-filled work day. Don't mind the messy background, I have to do dishes and the loud noise. I am making wax, we are testing. So I'm doing three different shapes for the Valentine's Day release. Sorry, I just double checked to make sure there wasn't anything there that was personal. Um, so we're doing the snap bars, the hearts, and the waffle shapes. So I made all of my, I put them in a Texas cup pink hearts for the first scent. I have my heart molds prepped with glitter. I wasn't initially going to do glitter, but I think I'm going to for the hearts. And then I did my drizzle on my waffles, but I don't know how many I need. So I did drizzle on all the big ones and then like a whole round of small ones. 
choose something. I'll show you. Okay, so snap bars each have a heart and three in each. I have those going. I didn't glitter the second one because I wasn't sure how many hearts I could do with one round. So I just glittered the first one. If I need to glitter, I'll do it, but I don't think I need to. And then I have the drizzle going. It's red. You can't see it well on that one. But I have it on all of this and all of this. This is going to be a two pack, which is like low key annoying because there's five here. I'll figure that out. And then I'm selling these individually. This is going to be the Morticia and Gomez scent. So I have red drizzle. This is the Belle and the Beast scent. So I have gold glitter, and then this is Cory and Topanga. So currently I have pink, cute little pink hearts. Is that the right way? Do it this way. Oh, some of them got filled way too high. I personally think this small like size is perfect, but you know what? We're gonna figure this out. Hopefully I can figure this out and it works well, and then I can just bust these out. I can just make them all today. <laughs> okay, everything is poured, and now those are obviously the cooling quickly, but, and now we wait. <sighs> we see what they look like. Okay, so I just spent the last hour, like, as these were cooling, just laying with Reagan. The post office guy did come. That was awesome. Um, but these are ready. Moment of truth time. So, I'm going to start with the snap bars. I have the bags for those right here. Okay, hopefully they look good. Oh, they're super cute. Okay, um... Here's the first one. Yeah, these are okay. Okay, good. I know I tested them yesterday, but like when it's product that I actually plan to sell, I would actually like for it to look good, you know? But yeah, these are really cute actually. These are really sweet. Oh, this one's really cute too. Oh, I like the blue with that pink. I think it's really pretty. Oh, this one's like really good. That's really cute. Okay, I can't wait to get pictures of those. Let's bag these up. Put them in there baggies okay so those turned out good i'm just gonna bag these four really quick since that's one mold and then we'll trust the other ones i guess i mean they smell fantastic i think avery's coming downstairs they smell super good and they're, just, they're actually very cute the other colorway i think what's the other colorway i'm doing i think it's purple i don't know the other color though it might be purple and yellow I don't know. I don't remember. I wrote it down, but we'll test that in a minute. Okay, so those are the snap bars. Let's quickly trust these hearts. So this one's not big enough. I actually need to weigh the hearts, and I need to weigh the waffles. This one's not, like, super big, so this one's going to be for me. This is, like, a tiny one. It's very good, though. What did I have these in? I think 5 by 5s Where's a 5 by 5 here? So let me just bag this one because this one's mine. Hi, honey. Good morning. Okay, one minute. And then let's test one more of these. Let's see. I have no clue. Oh, these are cute. I'm glad we did glitter. So this is a gold glitter. Very pretty. And these are quite thick as opposed to this is the one I'm keeping. Mm, that's nice, actually. It's really pretty. Okay, I really like that. Okay, so I need to weigh that and get a price point and a weight on that. I'll pop the rest of those molds out in a second. Obviously, every time Grace, I need to feed her. I'll do that in a minute but i do want to those are cute i want to test the um oh my god i'm sorry the waffles because i did a drizzle so let's do a big one first i have that in five by sevens hopefully these turn out good these waffle molds are really thin so they make me really nervous oh this is so morticia and gomez look at that oh my god it smells so good Okay, I'm like very obsessed with that. Let's bag this one up. I have it in a five by seven. I feel like five by seven might be too big, but I don't know if I have anything smaller. Actually, no, five by seven's good. Oh my God, that is so cute. Okay, let's do the, the little one and test that one out real quick. So these will be in a two pack, but I'm gonna keep one for myself. So let's see what this one looks like. These molds are so thin. Oh my God, these are so cool. Okay, I'm obsessed with these. I'm really glad these are like Morticia and Gomez themed because like the color is very cool. I'm like really happy with that. So this one will be mine, but then I have four right here that I can sell. Oh my God, these are so cute. Okay, I'm really happy. Look at these. Okay, so here's the big waffle, the big heart, and then the snap bar. What a cutie Valentine's Day collection. Okay, I'll do the rest of these 
and then make Avery food. Okay, so I just poured the, or like pipette, the purple hearts, and I lied to you guys. It's actually gonna be purple and white. But now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, should I do purple and yellow? I don't know, I kinda wanted to, we'll see. But I'm really happy with how this is turning out. It's getting me hype. I weighed both sets of waffles and the large waffle shape is the same weight as that heart. So that's kind of nice. Um, Cause the heart's like thick. So happy about that. Like I said, I just pipetted, pipetted. I actually had to order more pipettes. They're like $6 for a pack of a hundred. Um, but once those cool, I can get started on the next ones, which I think next I'm gonna do Rapunzel and Flynn as the heart, the snap bar is Lizzie and Gordo, and then the other waffle, which is Kitty and Red. And then I have two more hearts that I can do, but I'll do those like another, like after that, like I'll just do those next. I feel like I'm doing really good. I'm like really happy. Cause like I always try to get one of everything done initially so I can get pictures. I can make the captions for Instagram, all of that. I have purple all over my finger cause my dye jars are gross. But yes, I'm feeling very positive. Um, I like went to go start laundry and I was like, I don't want to bother the girls. And I like, they're in my room right now playing nicely. And if I were to start laundry, I'd be like in and out of there. I'd be like, a, like they, they would be distracted. And I'm like, I want them to just like relax right now. It's been quite nice. So I'll wait to do laundry. I could do dishes, but like dishes is my least favorite chore. Like I like, if I don't have to do them, I don't do them because I don't like them. But I have to do them because I need to cook today. So I was on TikTok again. And I think I found my favorite TikTok food person. I say that, but also I don't know if they're my favorite yet because I haven't made his recipes yet. But the reason I like him is because he is super in-depth and he actually writes the recipe description, which I appreciate. So it is cooking in the Midwest. The one I'm going to try tonight is the garlic parmesan chicken and potatoes. Um, it's just chicken breast, potatoes, olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder, paprika, butter, salt, pepper, paprika, onion powder, Italian seasoning, and garlic, and the buffalo wild wings garlic parm sauce, which I already had, and one cup of shredded mozzarella cheese. It sounds easy as heck. I'm going to try that tonight. I'm hoping it works. I'm trying to get into cooking again. I, I don't know. I'm not a good chef, but we're going to... Chef, I'm not a good cook, but we're going to learn. We're going to do this together. So once those purple hearts are cooled and ready to go i'm just gonna do the next round and i'm really stoked i felt like there was something else i was gonna say oh i was gonna update you guys on my book of the month so i did reach out to them and they got back to me like at like 6 a.m on monday which was like so early but like they were on top of it and they just sent me another book like they just resent my package which is awesome because like it those tracking says delivered and i'm like that always just makes me feel weird, but like they, no problem, just sent another one. So as far as that tracking goes, it is in Texas right now, but I don't think, I'm not going to get it today. Our mail person already came. So I'll probably get it Tuesday, which I'm very happy about. And I wanted to mention, I had two other people sign up under my book of the month link, which makes me so happy. So let me look real quick. I think one of them is Allison. I remember that one. But like, oh, that makes me so stoked. So if you ever are considering signing up for book of the month, use my link down below. It is a referral code, so I get a credit, but like... I appreciate that. I thank you. So it was Allison and Sierra Ann. Thank you guys so much. Like I'm stoked. And I had an extra credit because it was my birthday month last month. So I'm like sitting on a bunch of credit, not a bunch. I'm sitting on a few credits right now. And I'm like, what do I want? What do I want? <laughs> but I want this book to come first. So that's what my book of the month update is. But I have to film the rest of my plan with me. I filmed the base on Thursday. And the only other thing I need to film for this week is new releases. And I probably should start on last week's vlog. I'm probably not going to upload it till Saturday, though. It feels like Saturdays are the days that my vlogs do the best. Because when I upload them during the week, I feel like they don't do as well. So, like, Saturdays are probably my days. So, I'll probably work on that, too. Because that is a long one as well. But those should be done soon. They're very small. And I'm going to get started. I have a Dr. Pepper. Literally the best thing on the planet. I freaking love Dr. Pepper. And I'm burpy. And we are going to get back to work. I promise I'm about to leave this spot because I'm about to go fold laundry. I just got finished doing the dishes. So if you hear the dishwasher, that's what's going on. I have some wax on my head because it splashed. Anywho, um, I figured since I have a quiet moment, I would just quickly share with you what came from Amazon, which is the prevention stuff. So I've seen this brand in any, like I've seen it at Target. I've seen it at Walmart. I've seen it at H-E-B. You can buy this pretty much anywhere. I just bought it off Amazon because I was already buying things for this stuff. So it's the Fairy Tales brand. I don't know if they do different scents or anything. This is just, just the Rosemary Repel Daily Shampoo and Conditioner. It's lice prevention. 
Um, it has rosemary, citronella, tea tree, tea tree oil, which I've seen in a lot of like, I looked up TikToks and stuff too, you guys. I was going crazy. Um, tea tree oil is like good and it's gentle, proven effective. So I have the shampoo, the conditioner. This came as a bundle and then the conditioning spray. I'm not going to lie. It smells like citronella and tea tree oil and not great. Um, it smells terrible, but I don't care. We're using it. So that's, I got that today and that's there. Um, I think... Brian's off in like 20 minutes. I am hungry. It's almost four. So maybe I will actually just start cooking dinner and I will, um, oh no, I can't yet because I have to wait for the wax to, I'm going to go full close and by the time I'm done, I have wax poured. It needs to harden. I'm going to go full close. By the time that's done, I can start cooking. Um, so just wanted to share that with you. I'm just going to go ahead and cook. I moved the molds to our table. They're like not cooled all the way but definitely cool enough that it's fine laundry's going dishwasher's going so it is going to be a little bit loud in here but we're going to try this okay so i'm going to i'm going to start by me some plossing everything you know your girl has watched a food network show or two um because i feel like that might make things a little bit easier for myself and i'm going to pull up the tiktok again so give me a minute so it says I need two chicken breasts. This is, um, did I say cooking in the Midwest? It, but all I have are chicken tenders. I did that, I think, on purpose. Whatever. Um, I need potatoes, which are back there. I'll grab those. Olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder, paprika. I have all that. Butter. Let's grab that. Um, how much? Two tablespoons. Do I have spreadable? Let's do the spreadable for the two tablespoons of butter. Uh, blah, 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 minced garlic, which we do have. Um, the Buffalo Wild Wings. Garlic parm sauce, which is delish. And shredded mozzarella, that's for last. I have to go get the potatoes and I need to wash those first. So, I'm going to move my chicken. Those are going to go in the air fryer. So, can I just pause this video? Do I have to, like continue watching it okay so those are gonna go in the air fryer um okay let me get my potatoes them I'm uh, I probably should be following these directions you know but like at the same time I don't like love peeled potatoes but like and they're small should I still peel them maybe Ugh, we'll see okay I don't know I don't know I don't know and then wait, what are they going in the air fryer? Hold on, let me watch this guy's tutorial again. Oh, okay, cool. It's just so simple. Blah, 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 blah. This is my favorite meal. Great, awesome. Can't wait to see. Can you show me the recipe again? Thank you. Dice them up, quarter them. I'll get a bowl, olive oil. Okay, so I gotta get them in a bowl. Here's a bowl. Cool. I've never peeled potatoes before. Oh, I don't want to. Okay. Don't. Do not laugh at me. I'll be so huh, angry. Okay. Am I doing a good job? I don't know. 
This makes me anxious. Do red potatoes even need to be peeled? Like, honestly, be, be, oh my God. Be honest with me here. This is supposed to be a quick meal and I'm like, I'm gonna make this like three hours long. Should I go get a Target bag to put my potato peelings in? have like a have a whole ass drawer in your kitchen not drawer like mine's basically a cabinet that's dedicated to bags because you just don't have the heart to throw them away because you want to reuse them that's me okay i think i'm just gonna peel all of these oh i hate this so much okay and then i'll cut them after it's gonna be a piss poor peel job but like a new place a new home for a while let me feel alive nothing to hold me back take my time just enjoy the ride i know man passing by life is good best i've ever felt Potatoes are in a bowl. He said olive oil. Salt, I need more pepper. Salt, I'm an over salter, so there's, that's good. I'm also an over pepper too. Salt, pepper, what do you say? Shit, I think he said garlic powder. I hate having to rewash it, okay. For dinner tonight, we had this cheesy garlic parm chicken and potato skillet. This one's pretty cheap okay. and easy to make and it only takes about 30 minutes. Okay. Just peel and cube up four, four or five, five yeah, I got the potatoes, potatoes cool. and then throw those in a bowl with some olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic, and pepper. Garlic and paprika. Oh, shit. I clicked on his thing. Whatever. Garlic and paprika. Do we have... Where's our garlic? We have garlic salt. Where the heck's our garlic? We have garlic... Oh, that's actually good. Hold on. Where's our garlic? I don't think we have garlic by itself, so I'm... Ugh, I'm like over salting, but this is, um... Uh, fuck. Uh, garlic, herb, and black pepper, sea salt. I'm gonna do like a light, light wash of that because we already have a bunch of salt. A little bit of this paprika. Oh, that's, well, he is was orange. So, whatever. I'm gonna mix this up. 
Here's what they look like. I have to rewatch the TikTok because I've already lost it. Okay. 400. So let's get the air fryer. Oh, hello? On? Oh god, I don't usually use an air fryer, so I don't love this. Um, what do I do? Temp time? Okay, 400. Do I press start? For how long? 400 for 20 minutes. And it says to shake in between. So let's get in there a little, little guys. Okay, start. Temp. 400 time. 20 minutes. Start. Okay, Google, set timer for seven minutes, I guess. to cube up a pound of chicken breast. Oh, I hate touching raw meat. It grosses me the fuck out. But we're gonna do it because I love my family. Um, oh God, I can already feel it. Oh God. We're gonna cube this up. At least it's just tenders and I'm gonna probably cut off anything that's like yucky. Probably like the right fork to use, but oh, where'd my little baggie go when I needed it? Actually, should or fork, Ugh, knife. Yeah, this is not the right thing. Uh, where's my big knife? Hopefully, this is right, but you know what? We're trying, so. <laughs> Sorry, I promise I won't gag it every time. I just. I didn't use a big enough pan, so I am gonna have to transfer it into a bigger pan. Is that gonna be annoying? Yes, but I'll do the dishes. But that's my first mistake so far. Otherwise, I'm really scared. I don't wanna kill anybody with this chicken, so I'm like, I might even overcook it. Which, is that gonna be weird? I hope not, but like, I'm just trying to make sure I make everything right. You're facing me now. Okay, so I just got the potatoes out of the air fryer. I am mixing them in with the chicken that is fully cooked with the garlic parm sauce. Hold on, mama. She's tired, so she's quite sleepy. I'm gonna set the oven to broil real quick. You gotta get out of here. And then I'm gonna take some mozzarella cheese and sprinkle this on top. Okay, cool. Sprinkle it on top. He had it like hecka layered on. Oh God, don't get down there. I'll have to clean that. Hold on, Reggie. It's gonna be hot tamales. I don't want you doing this. I'm gonna put a bunch on and then put it in the oven for like Two minutes maybe okay. enough to make the cheese melt actually i'll set it for a minute and a half and then i'll check it all right what y'all mama okay. hold on i don't think i melted the cheese enough but this is what it looks like i'm just gonna kind of oh actually it's quite nice i mean it's juicy and it looks good and i didn't think about a side dish so i don't know <gasps> is that a raw piece of meat no it's not oh god it scared me Whew, okay Let's serve it up and hopefully it's good. Oops, I'm making a mess. So dinner was good. I actually really did like it. Um, I think next time though, we I, I should probably make a side with it. <laughs> Sorry, because I feel like it was like very plain by itself, but I was very happy with how it turned out. It is only 6.45, but both kids are like chilling. I think Reagan already fell asleep at night, which is kind of crazy. But we're gonna watch a movie. We picked the menu, which is on HBO Max. We were gonna watch Midsummer, but it's not streaming anywhere for free. So we were like, we were already on HBO Max, and I was like, I've been wanting to watch this movie anyways. So we're gonna watch this, and Brian made peanut butter cookies, and that's gonna be our night. So I'm really looking forward to that. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. My glasses are dirty. Happy Sunday. Today is Sunday the 15th. We've had a good morning indeed. It's 10 o'clock. I woke up at about 7.30, laid in bed till about 8. 
thought they were fighting. Um, and then I went and did my workout for the day. I took a shower. I am clean. Um, we had breakfast. We were out of milk, which usually the girls are like cereal people, which is fine. I am too. So we were out of milk. So I improvised and I found some frozen waffles. So we made those. The girls seem to like that. And now I am ordering groceries from H-E-B for Brian to pick up on his way home. I feel like we do need quite a bit and it's also not helping that I didn't make a uh what's it called a like what we need to eat every day kind of list sort of situation but I'm kind of trying to shop the pantry right now and I have two meals that I like kind of want to make next week I want to make at least like one crock pot meal a week just because like it sounds easy and so I found a crock pot chicken noodle soup recipe but like Last time I did a crock pot chicken noodle soup, I hated it. Um, but that was also probably about seven or eight years ago. And I feel like I've changed a little bit. So I'm on Delish to get six to eight. Okay, so maybe I'll do that. And then I also was back on the TikToks. And I saw the like simplest casserole from this one girl. It like looked so easy. It's like a KFC uh, like mock chicken bowl or whatever i think i follow this girl on instagram too macy blackwell kfc famous bowl casserole and it looks really simple like there really ain't much to it does she have like a link though i don't think she has a link i'll have to go to like see if she has like a blog or something but yeah so i think that's what we're gonna do at least my two meals and then i know tonight i'm just making red sketty red sketty that's what the kids call it red spaghetti with um meatballs super easy super simple and yes, Brian asked for chicken thighs and black beans. So I think he's going to make some sort of like chicken tacos, which is like mm, so good. And yeah, so I just need to order these groceries. Um, it takes me a minute nowadays to order groceries. I personally, okay, so I like going to the grocery store a lot. But whenever we go, we spend a lot of money and I don't get it. Like I don't get it. Groceries are so much more expensive nowadays than ever. Like when we go to the grocery store, we always spend over $200 and I'm like, "Why? That's like not a thing." But when I can order online, this probably will be a closer to $200 trip just because like we need like toilet paper. Like I only have eight things in the cart right now and it's at $45, you know what I'm saying? But we need toilet paper, we needed what else do we need? cat food yeah that was it um so i can try when ordering online to get us under 200 every time i've ordered on online the past god i can't talk today the past two weeks it's been under 200 it's been like 160 which is like kind of nice so i'm gonna try and do that again today but we shall see but i'm gonna order these groceries um on the list today is do more dishes because apparently i used a butt ton of them yesterday Finish up the laundry, which I'm almost done with, which is so helpful that I started yesterday. I need to film the day-by-day -day of my plan with me <laughs> at some point. And I also should get that edited and uploaded as well as I want to get my melting basket uploaded. And I do need to start working on last week's vlog, but that's for another time. Plus, I need to get pictures of all of the Valentine's Day stuff um, so I can start getting those prepped to be posted starting tomorrow, which I'm really excited about. I also could make some more wax today too, which I probably will. So that's on the, the docket for today. Oh, we watched the menu last night. Have y'all watched that movie? I want to know what you think about that movie. I, I don't know what I think actually. I don't think I've fully formed an opinion on it yet. I'm going to go towards, I think I liked it. I think I did. It was very like, it, it gave me the vibes of like the books I like to read. So I was like, okay, I like this. But also there's some parts I was like, Okay, it was interesting. I actually quite liked it. I think I think now that I'm talking myself through it, I liked it. So I need to order these groceries. I just got a notification from Favor. Leave me a shalom. All right, I gotta go. Bye. Why did I do that? Hello, I'm 17. Okay, order is placed. I just did it. It's $180.89. Granted, they have everything and don't like sub anything out for me, but I think I did a pretty good job. I got everything I needed for that crock pot chicken noodle soup recipe and I'm going to do, did I say the KFC famous bowls? I think I did. But the recipe required like rosemary and thyme and so I called Brian and I was like, do you want to make like a steak or something this week because I just feel like we're just like buying like the sprigs and then just them sitting until we need them again. I was like, let's just use them again this week. Plus, I've just been really trying to eat at home a lot more and cook a lot more. So we're also making a steak this week, which I'm kind of excited about. So. 
Groceries are ordered. HEB just texted me. They're gonna start shopping. They're uh, we're picking it up today, so I'm really excited about that. And I think next on my list, I'm gonna go. I don't know actually. I think I'm gonna go fold some laundry because I kind of need to switch that shit around. <laughs> have seen me in here um at all in a while i just got finished filming the rest of my plan with me so that is all done and i'm very happy because at least the first two videos of this week are ready to go um i will film my what's it called new releases probably thursday because i want to put makeup on and stuff for that and then um get that vlog edited and uploaded i'm probably i don't know actually well, no, because it'll just be me and Reagan, but Reagan is quite needy. I was trying to figure out the Thursday, Friday, if I was going to be able to edit that vlog. It might just have to be like at nighttime. I stay up a little bit late to edit it kind of situation, but that's all good. This is at least done and I'm happy. It's almost one o'clock, so I'm thinking about trying to figure out lunch in a minute, but I'm feeling positive because a lot of the stuff I needed to get done is already done, and I like when that happens. So maybe I'll start doing laundry starting it on Saturdays from now on because... I don't feel as like overwhelmed so feeling positive and I still have to figure out what Alice sense I want to do I have like an idea running like an idea list running in my head right now um, I have till next weekend to really figure it out but I would like to at least maybe have it set in stone now we'll see because I kind of want to get the feedback on the waffles when I post these sneaks on Instagram this week to decide if I want to do waffle shapes but the shapes don't really matter it just sense right now who cares so I'm just going to get this video edited and let it render out for a little bit while I just kind of continue working um I think I should have wax ready to be popped out of molds and I can probably do another round of that and then do laundry just kind of keep the train moving today and just kind of hang out Brian reminded me that we have a new show he wants to watch it's on hbo it's like the hbo prime slot right now it's um the last of us which is like the video game it's got pedro pascal in it and the girl from uh, game of thrones so he wants to start watching it tonight and it premieres tonight so i'm gonna watch it with him so that's exciting but i'm gonna get this done and i'll catch up with you guys in a little bit hello so i'm currently about to do the dishes again so you're gonna hear the water I gotta get my gloves. Anybody else? I have to wear gloves. One, because the water is like scalding hot. And two, because I don't know. I don't like the way that like it feels. It's gross. But I'm using my dishwasher, but I've always been taught that like your dishwasher just sanitizes your dishes. So I still clean my dishes. Anybody else in the same boat as me? Maybe not. Ow, I just stabbed myself. Good thing I have gloves but i did like a good chunk of dishes yesterday but we had so many built up from like the past couple of days because we've just been super lazy but i really want to like try to start off this week on a good a good foot a good note and like at least try and have like not a lot of dishes you know so i'm gonna do the dishes um it's only three brian is off he said it like 350 something again which is kind of nice um i like yesterday i'm still serving i just do this thing where i just don't eat and i don't know why like i eat breakfast and then i just don't eat until dinner and i don't know why i've been doing that when i'm home because like i be snacking all the time at work but for some reason when i'm at home like that's my go-to so i'm pretty starving but our grocery pickup isn't until um, 4.30, so he should be able to like, actually he might be there before, but he should be able to snag that on the way home. I have to wash this separately, so I'll do this one in a minute. This one as well. But, um, yes, so I probably won't start cooking then until about 4.20. Um, so, He's texting me, but I can't text right now, babe. Sorry, you got gloves on. 
But yeah, so that's the plan. It's just gonna be a basic. Did I tell y'all what I'm making tonight? It's just gonna be spaghetti and meatballs, super easy. I wish I would have got like garlic bread or something, but I did not, and that's okay. Um, it'll be delish, and the kids will eat it, thank God. Our kids love meatballs. Like those Italian meatballs that you can buy in like a bag. Our children will eat them just without spaghetti. Like they'll just eat them plain, like they love them. So that's a good thing. That's separately as well um oh my god i was talking to brian last night about peeling the red potatoes and he was like you know those don't really need to be peeled and i was like that's what i thought <laughs> but you know what i did it anyway <laughs> oh you guys i got my melting basket up my plan with me is up um i haven't even looked at the vlog and i probably should but i'm like literally what i'm trying to do right now is just get every little thing that I need to get done today done like right now. So that way when Brian comes home and like after dinner, did I really, oh I did use two pans. I hate myself for that. Um, I can just chill. Like I know our show isn't until eight o'clock, but like if I can just like lay on the couch for hours, by golly, I'ma do it. So the only other thing I really have to do is I just have what do I have to do? I guess I could fold another load of laundry. Oh, HEB just texted me, shoot. That might mean that they're missing some stuff. Last time they said they had substitutions and they didn't. Oh my God, I have a stupid story to tell you guys. Hold on, let me just check real quick. This one actually is important. Um, okay. Some items are out of stock. All right, let's see. Oh. I hope it's nothing that like is important. Mm, okay, that's fine. <gasps> they didn't have party pizzas. Bummer. Okay, I'll tell Brian. That's it, really. Okay, bummer. But okay, that's fine. They substituted. So one time I ordered curbside. This was like a while ago. And I ordered cat food and diapers at the same time, okay? And they substituted our cat food with another box of diapers. I was like, okay. But like, it doesn't like adjust the charge or anything. Cause like the cat food was far cheaper than the box of diapers. But I was like, okay. So all those are stuck together. So yeah, that was interesting. But anyway, I just am talking now because ugh, God, I gotta take my clothes off to turn you guys off. Okay. I gotta go. I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Hey, cooking vlog. You look so cute. Oh god, our floor needs to be swept. You're so cute. Why is your mouth blue? Because it's my mouth. Mm -hmm. ah. Ah. Hey guys, it is 9.37. I'm tired. Um, It's like way past my bedtime, but we watched the first episode of The Last of Us. Brian said it's basically just like the video game, so if you guys have played that game, he said they added a little bit more backstory, but it was pretty good actually. A little sad, but I'm excited. It gives me, I like like zombie outbreak type stuff, so it's very cool and really exciting. So we watched that and I'm looking forward to watching that um, every week now, but I'm heading to bed. I'm so tired and I have to get up and go to work tomorrow. I'm gonna try and go a little bit earlier since Avery doesn't have school, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I don't even remember what I did. But I'll see you guys uh, next weekend. Hopefully next weekend is a little bit more exciting. I don't know. It's probably going to be the same thing. Y'all know how it is. We just be out here working all the time and attempting new things. But I will see you guys next vlog.